So personally, I'm not a sample based producer, so I don't really use loops. I make my own, but I know that a lot of people that watch this channel do use loops quite a bit. So I thought I should bring up Loop Cloud because I feel like this is pretty much the best loop system that you could get online. There is a free version that comes with a few points that you could use to get some of these loops. They also have some free loops available, but if you get the standard version, you get 2000 points. Each of these are worth about two points each. But the great thing about this is it's really fast to find these loops and come up with a combination of loops as well. So you have these eight different tracks that you could add loops to before you even purchase to test out what matches what. But even simpler than that, of course, you could go into the key and BPM, select either major or minor. We're going to go with minor and switch this to E minor specifically. So now everything that you play in these loops will be in E minor. So let's go ahead and pick out some loops. We're going to go to guitar and you'll notice that right here it says DAW connected to Fruity Loops. And that is because we loaded up the Loop Cloud plugin, which looks like this inside of our DAW. So now everything that we play inside of our DAW will be synced up to Loop Cloud. So that's what makes this really fast and really easy. So so let's go ahead and play our DAW and inside of Loop Cloud, we're going to go through some of these guitar presets or loops, I should say. You'll also notice in the background, there's birds chirping. That is how they keep you from stealing any of these loops. It's their watermark. You can adjust volume right here. You can also adjust the volume down here as well. You can also save any of these as your favorites and then you'll be able to access your favorites right here. Like I said, there's also a free section. Another thing that I notice about this, um, a lot of these tempos are below 140. So a lot of these are in normal time instead of half time. So that's why I have my DAW set to 96 BPM instead of something like 140 or above. This one sounds pretty good. Also, if you hear something that you liked before and you didn't add it here, you can always go to your history and it has all the loops that you played previously. So the other great thing about Loop Cloud, you don't have to keep these loops as is. So I mentioned before that a lot of these are in normal time instead of half time. You could change that right here. Double time. Half time. That's pretty dope right there. So we're gonna keep that right there. You can also change the pitch. Let's drop this down an octave. So this is down an octave. It'll also change it up an octave. But we're gonna keep this right where it's at. But the really cool section is this pattern mode right here. So if you click this drop down menu, you can actually change the pattern with these presets right here. So let's go to plucks and go to progressive house pluck. I'm noticing that a lot of the names of these are EDM based. But I think for our purposes, I'm gonna stay away from these presets. But that gives you a general idea of these presets. I think if you're working with hip hop, you're better off just using these presets for your percussion instruments, like, like your hi-hats, shakers, kicks. So here's another thing that makes Loop Cloud really unique. You have this effects section. So let's click on effects edit. It's really cool that you can add effects before you even use your DAW. So this could save you on CPU depending on what situation that you're in. Let's go ahead and add some reverb. You can see that there's quite a bit of presets here. Let's go to Guitar Hall, that makes sense. And let's, let's do this backwards and add delay and see if we can move these effects around. 
because normally you would have delay before you have reverb. So let's go ahead and add a dub delay. And yeah, sure enough, you can switch these effects around as well. Go to the filter. I'm pretty sure that this will match more of what you would find in hip hop. LFOs. Let's just go to the first one and cycle through. So yeah, that filter can be pretty useful, but you also have these chopping tools. So let's go ahead and chop this up a little bit. I'm just going to chop this in random places here. So now that we've chopped the sample, you can see that you can automate any of these effects. So right, so right here I have this reverb hall automated right here. So all I did was just drag this down. So let's listen to this effect. That's a very subtle example, but you can see that it's definitely automating this the size of the reverb going up. So yeah, there's a lot of different ways that you can manipulate these samples before you even drag these into your project, test them out, add different tracks, combine them, and then when you're happy, that's when you can go ahead and click this button to buy the file. And you'll also see that you have access to the original file and the processed file. And then all you would do is just click and drag this into your DAW. And there we go. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. And now we don't need loop cloud anymore. Let's go ahead and delete that. And let's listen to what we got. So yeah, hands down, I would say Loop Cloud is probably the best premium loop service that I would personally recommend. I know that there's plenty of others out there, but in terms of sample manipulation and making these your own before you even decide to purchase or drag these into your DAW, this will definitely give you an advantage knowing exactly what loops you want to purchase. So at the end of the day, that should save you some money and help with your creativity before you even get started with using these loops inside of your own project. Don't worry about subscribing, just hit that like button. I've been noticing that subscribing and hitting that notification bell isn't as strong as hitting that like button. Not only do you help support this channel, but that also helps you get more recommendations on these type of videos, no matter what channel that you're watching. But I still appreciate if you do decide to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.